no one, I mean no one, no matter what discipline has beat me on my home turf, has beat me on my soil, has beat me black or mate. And it's going to be no different. I'm getting disrespected of people where I have more talent in my pinky fingernail than they have in their entire bodies. Little slime ball, yeah, putting them contracts in, mate. I'd take yeah, that. No, no, I can't, just send it to me. Hello, everybody. Graham Pierce here. We have a mega show coming up for PCW on the 10th of December, and the main event has got everybody talking. Local boy Rossi Rascal challenges for the PCW World Cruiserweight Championship, and he is against Philip Michael. And as you know, these two men have gone to war in 2022 across a series of incredible matches. No holes barred, no disqualification, last man standing. And since then, Philip Michael has won the World Cruiserweight Championship. And now, in Blackpool, at Flamingos, on the 10th of December, local boy Rossi Rascal has his chance to win the title. And I'm here in the PCW Academy to have an exclusive face-to-face -face with both men ahead of this huge championship match. Hello everybody, welcome to an exclusive face-to-face. -face. My name is Graham Pierce. I am joined today by the PCW World Cruiserweight Champion, Philip Michael, and the person who will be challenging for that championship on the 10th of December at Flamingos in Blackpool. Blackpool's own Rossi Rascal. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Graham. So, PCW Cruiserweight Championship. What does this title mean to you, Philip? It's my last work, as simple as that. And you're stupid if you're going to let anyone take it away from me, especially someone like him. Strong words straight away, Philip. But, like I said, it is your life's work, but you respect that it's my life's work as well. And you know that no matter how many times you've knocked me down, you've never been able to keep me down. But that's my life's work too, that, and it is a lifetime of effort, a lifetime of determination on my home soil, Philip. This is your last word. I'm taking that away from this, you. This is your last word. I'm taking that away from you. Make sure it's not, make sure it's not being Mr. Swimwear. Make sure it's not being Judo Club. Mate, we can go all day with this. You know full as anyone, I've sacrificed my Judo career. I did. I was an international Judo fighter, Philip, and I gave it all up for this. I turned down the modelling contract with British Isles for this. Yeah, that's great and all that, but it doesn't mean anything. When that's staring me dead in the face and you're staring me dead in the face, I'm the one walking away with that. Full distraction. Sure, sure. Okay, gentlemen, um, Philip, if I could start with you first. What are your thoughts about your opponent, Rossi Rascal? Is he f no, genuinely. I don't have any thoughts about Rossi Rascal. Because he's not on my level, never been on my level. The only reason he's even sniffing on me at the end is because of me. He's lashed onto me like a parasite, and that's that. He needs me, I don't need him. Okay, um, before we announced that we were doing this, I got loads of questions off loads of fans. Um, Phil, I had quite a few comments yeah. from some of the PCW fans. Um, well. They, you know, earlier on this year and for previous years, you were beloved. And then, earlier this year, as soon as you aligned with Tom McManus, your opinion in the fan base has dropped. What are your thoughts about how the fans now just really dislike you? First of all, I could not care less about what fans think of me, what anyone thinks of me, to be fair. But do I know what I think it is? Yeah. I think it's the simple fact that they cannot relate to me. They can't relate to someone who dedicates their life to something that they've worked so hard for. They can't relate to my work ethic. They're the same, they're the type of people that like stay in the same place their entire life. They might have like certain aspirations, certain goals, but they don't want to put in the work. They want, I mean, they want the end goal, but they're not willing to put in the work to get to that end goal. So instead of focusing on themselves and trying to live their life, they'd rather sit on a high horse, point and judge me the things that I'm doing and the way I'm carrying myself. But then the if it wasn't for PCW's disrespect, none of this would have happened. I've been disrespected for too long. I'm getting disrespected of people where I have more talent in my pinky fingernail than they have in their entire bodies. And I'm sick of it. Okay. Um, 
And you know what? One, one second. Um, I'm not going to be around forever. Let's make that perfectly clear. So all these people that are slating, slating me now, and pointing the fingers and saying all sorts of shit, whatever they want to say. Right? When I'm gone, they're going to miss me. It's as simple as that. They're going to miss the buzz in the atmosphere that I bring to PCW. Okay. Um Oh yeah, I'm Basically, no, no, the thing is, basically, you, you're kind of right, but I don't know why the mindset changed for it. I don't know. Fair enough, I'm coming in as the underdog, I respect that. Why? Because you are the greatest wrestling in PCW right now. I can totally it's admit that. Yourself. That's why there's respect there. That is why there's a little bit of respect. don't like you, but there's a little bit of respect. And, let's call a spade a spade here, Graham. Philip did what I couldn't. Philip beat Vaughn. Philip became the World Cruiserweight Championship. I couldn't do that. And you've done us all a favour, to be honest. You've kept that title in our country to give people like me a chance. But as I said, all I need is that chance. No one, and I mean no one, no matter what discipline, has beat me on my home turf, has beat me on my soil, has beat me in Blackpool, mate. And it's going to be no different. So, Ross, next time you guys face, it's for this title belt. It's in Blackpool, your home turf. I'm guessing there might be quite a few Rossi Rascal fans, a very vocal part of the PCW uh, fan base. What does that mean to you? It means everything, and that's why, again, me and Philip have this animosity towards you. You were loved, you were respected, but as I said, you were. Again, we got along so well. You were always a bit like a mentor to me, in all honesty. I was in the where you were such a mentor, and then I remember the day when it happened, you smacked Axel over the head of the chair, mate. Right, yeah. Like this, exactly. And Mike said, yes, I know this is, this is a you know, show and stuff like that, but he was our mate. He was our mate, like smug, and that, you're there smug, smiling, mate. He was our mate, and you cracked him over the head. But I don't know, yeah, I get it, you're down the champion, but you didn't need to go down that path, man. You didn't need to align with that slime ball Tom McManus. <clears throat> you didn't. Lining yourself with death row. Two lads that I've come through the academy with who I respected as well, and they've gone down a, you know, you don't need to be doing this, mate, honestly. Just two men, face to face, shake hands, going for that title. But you've changed, man. It's, it's so blatantly obvious, though. Like, you're asking why they do what they do to Axel. Why do you think? So do, you think, the, do, you think, do you think I've wrestled guys like Cole Cabana, Doug Williams, Noam Dar, all on PCW shows, and put me in the room with someone like Axel Strike. You're absolutely taking the bit. Oh, mate, you can all the stuff resumes, nah. mate. I can list stuff my resume as well. You've got nothing on me, mate. So. Oh, yeah, okay, oh, yeah, sure, whatever, mate. But yeah, I can list it all day. But Listen, I'm one of the very best wrestlers Europe has to offer. And it's, as simple, and it's as simple as that. I agree. It's as simple as that. You know, and that proves it. I agree, and that's why I'm not sleeping on this. That's why well, I'm. Well, even the best wrestler in Blackpool, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. But well, here's the thing, mate. Like I said, the last few matches we've had, you couldn't keep me down. You could not keep me down, mate. And that's what that's funny, I beat you like what, four times? You got, no. you got me once. Here's the thing, I, my goal was to beat you up. This time my goal isn't to beat you up or even to hurt you, it's to win. All I need to do is win. Long with it both too, so it's fine. Sure, sure. So, uh, in this match there is, a champion, there is a champion's advantage. Ross, you need to get a pin or a submission. Philip can retain even if there's a disqualification or a count out. Now I mentioned disqualification because there's some extra factors when you take into account Philip Michael, his manager, Tom McManus, his associates, Death Row. How do you factor them into that match? Well, obviously, if they come anywhere close to that ring, Philip, and take Tom McManus, he's head to now. I've beat you four times by myself. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't need to go that way to beat you. You beat me, you, you, you screwed away last man anyway. standing. You time yeah, yeah, anyway, man. Mate, you screwed away after the last man standing match. I was straight back up, ready to chase, ready to fight. Couldn't get up off the count of 10, though. Oh, but, yeah, I give you props, like, yeah, you're technical genius and all that. I'll give you that. But, mate, when it comes down to fighting, when it comes down to brawling, when it comes down to winning, I'm going to take that off you, mate. And as I said, if that slime ball Tom McManus comes anywhere near me, I'll take his head clean off. You even think about getting death row involved. We want just me and you. Just turn up on your own, mate. And right. prove that you're the best wrestler in Europe. I've been proving this since 2016 when I've got two shows, mate. Turn up on your own. Okay, um, Ross, is there anything you want to ask Philip? 
There's nothing I need to ask for. I've laid it on the time. Like I said, there is respect there. Do I like the guy? No. Do I respect him? He's got what I want. He's done what I so could not do. do. I can do this. Oh, you can I'm do that. I'm going to this. That's okay. You can do that all you want. You look quite comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. You look too comfortable, mate. You look too comfortable. You look too comfortable. But you look like you're not taking me seriously, and I think you should. I think you're really underestimating me. As a person, as a fighter, as a person with all that support and heart and determination, mate. I think you're really underestimating me. Remember the last time we were in the ring, mate? Who walked out? On their own, two you feet. Need, you need to hide behind stipulations and gimmicks to get a win. Every time we had a singles match one on one, I've schooled you. It's as simple as that. You think you can do that again? 100%. You reckon? 100%. Why well, would I be sat here for anything? But... Okay. I admire the confidence. We will not be I've done it before twice, I can do it again, no problem. Yeah. Now, I, I just need to point out, Ross, um, when you signed the contract for this match, there was a clause in there that was insisted by Tom McManus that if you lay a hand on Philip prior to that match, then the match is over. So, just want to remind you of that ahead of, you know, if anything happens. Hence why you're so smug. Because you know I can't win, don't you? Because you know that means more to me. I'm a professional, mate. I'm a professional. You don't do anything if you could anyway. I'm a professional, mate. Pure professional. And that means more to me than just cracking you around the head. So I'm willing to wait. But as soon as that bell rings, mate, I'm coming all guns blazing like we've always done. Look up. Like we've always done. Philip, do you have any questions for Ross? No, see, I'm trying to think of a question since you said it, but I'm done to try to talk to him. He just sits there. How are you going to feel when all them people are cheering Rossi Rascal like they did on the last few shows? How are all them people going to feel when I tap you in the left wing again? Can you deal with that Can you deal with that pressure? Rossi Rascal's big No, mate. Can you deal with that pressure, though? That pressure. Yes, you've main evented. Yes, you're the champion. Yes, you deserve it. But that pressure's different when you're facing me in Blackpool. I've had that pressure. You've never faced me in Blackpool. Look at me now. You've never faced me in Blackpool. Everybody's crumbled. The last four opponents lined up to face me in Blackpool pulled out or didn't show up. The last guy you beat in Blackpool had to take the match on the last minute. Well, that was, how's that my fault? Last minute, None of them turned up, up, mate. I just hope you turn up. Oh, mate, I so hope you turn up. I, when, when my I last four up. opponents don't turn up. They can't survive that Blackpool bubble. I put in some sort of bubble, they can't survive Blackpool, it. Blackpool bubble. It is, mate, it is. Blackpool bubble. It is. <laughs> it's that simple, but I don't think you can handle that pressure. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I've handled it so well so far. And, like, everyone's talking about all this, like, Rossi Rascal's big homecoming. This is Rossi Rascal's happy ending. They finally got a title. Like, you talk about happy endings, it's not that kind of massage shot, mate. You're gonna wake up in the middle of that ring, beaten by me again. Okay, now, can we get a, a handshake? I mean, that, that's, in, although there was a, you're not allowed to lay a finger on him, in violence, you are allowed one handshake. Can we? Oh, so that's not gonna come back on me. The, the, the small print did say you are allowed to shake hands once if Philip chooses to. I'll shake his hand. Yeah. Best man win. I'll shake his hand. May the best man win. You good? I want this to be me. Okay, so we're just gonna bring both men in for a um, face off, just for a few promo picks. Or Sunday morning and talk to this muppet. Just think of them kids, Ross, yeah? And don't even show up about them kids. Yeah. And kids are there to support Just a show. Get ready to whack them tears, bring enough tissues for Yeah, yeah, sure, mate. Them kids are there to support a show, mate. Don't even mention them. That's how low you are. You're beating up on acts and stuff like that. Say <laughs> like that, mate. You're so low. What are you going to do about it? So low. I'll just say I could do nothing until the seventh day. I'm going to do nothing until the seventh day. Yeah, sure, mate. Yeah, like you're just slamming up putting them contracts in. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, mate. I'm just representing.